Welcome to Symbility Tutorials, the only training videos officially produced by Symbility Trainers. This tutorial will walk you through the simple process of setting notifications. Notifications are important as they'll notify you of significant events occurring in a claim, such as when a claim is assigned to you or if an estimate has been approved or rejected. There are multiple methods of notification, including email, text message, and voicemail. And notifications are customizable, giving each user control of their own configuration. Setting notifications takes place within Claims Connect. You can access Claims Connect by navigating to www.symbility.net. To begin setting notifications, place your cursor on Preferences across the top of your screen and select Notifications from the drop down menu. You'll now see a panel displaying notification methods and a list of available notification subscriptions. Notification subscriptions are the occasions you can choose to be notified of. Notice that there's already a method of notification, internal. If you select a subscription in this column, you'll receive internal notifications. Internal notifications will be displayed in the form of a yellow sticky note when you log into Claims Connect. Once you close the sticky note window, the notifications are automatically deleted. Most likely, you'll want to set up a customized method of notification, like email or text message. To do so, click on Create a new method in the top left-hand corner. To the right of Method, you can click on the arrow pointing down to expand your options. Here, you can choose to receive notifications via email, text message, pager, or voicemail. The most common method of notification is email, and that's what we'll use as our example for this tutorial. In the field labeled Message Destination, type in the email address you wish to send notifications to. Once the required information is entered, click on Add to finalize the entry. You will now see a new method has been created and your email address will be displayed under Notification Methods. There's also a new column added represented by your email address. Keep in mind, you can add multiple methods of notifications. Simply repeat the process to create a new method. Now that we've set up the notification method, we're ready to select some subscriptions. You can use the scroll bar on the right side of the screen to look through the options of what you would like to be notified of. It's recommended that you only select notifications that will be relevant to you. This really depends on your role within your company. For example, if you're an adjuster or an estimator, you would likely want to know when a claim has been assigned to you. Likewise, if you're a supervisor or part of an estimate review team, you may want to know when an estimate has been marked ready for review or completed. Remember, it's recommended to be selective when choosing your notification subscriptions. You don't want to select every possible subscription as this will result in a flood of unnecessary emails or texts. Once you've selected all of your relevant subscriptions, click on Save in the top right hand corner. Setting notifications is usually a one-time process. Once they're set, they're set. Of course, you can always revisit notifications if you'd like to add a new method or change your subscriptions at any time. Remember, Symbility offers several resources to help you along the way. Make sure you register with the Symbility support site for access to the complete user guide and other learning tools. Thanks for watching Symbility tutorials. Check out the Symbility YouTube channel to continue learning with other official Symbility training tutorials.